All right, let's get this powder started. He's not calling y'all. <sighs> Am I back? Let me not drink this whole class glass because I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, also guys, tell me if you think this is corny. So I was like, you know, we could like hang out in the house and like just play play games, watch a movie, some food, drink some wine, vibes. And I'm gonna bring a game that I have played with a couple other friends, but it's a good game. Like it's called um, "We're Not Really Strangers," and it's a game to like get to know each other better. Um, it can get a little deep, but is that corny? I'm like. I brought a game, I brought wine, like, you know? I'm just trying to be like proactive. Okay, that's cute, all right. I'm so, I'm really in my date girl area, like I, era, I'm really in my dating girl era. Like I'm really in like my era where I date people. Like, I'm not around with you. I want my eds cracked meaning I want a child. I want my name dropped, meaning I want to be married. Okay? That's the vibes. And, and what that means, and what that means is literally, if you up, you are on the next ship out, buddy. And the next guy is on the next ship in. Literally. I don't have time to care about anyone who's not doing what they should. And I genuinely mean that. Like, you can literally kick rocks. You and everyone around you. Kick rocks. Because what's going what's gonna to happen is, I'm going to be out here finding my husband... While you're out here playing these games with these girls, I don't have time, bruv. I don't have time. Be real. Be so for real. Because look, I turned 30 in a few months. <laughs> no. That means I'm dating around, sleeping around getting to know around and that's just that period i don't give a fuck <sighs> yes i am about to be 30. <sighs> and honestly I feel like I'm 12. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, when you turn 30, you do not feel like an adult. You feel like a child. You feel like I am just a teen 30 year old. I feel like a teen 29 year old. I'm just a little teenage girl. Like, honestly, that's really how I feel. Like, I'm a teenage girl with like a lot more money, a lot more knowledge, still fine as hell, still ain't got no kids. Coogee still immaculate. And it's just, it's looking really good for me. That's pretty much it. I was not supposed to do a full beat. I was going to do a light face. Somehow, we're here. And it's just, I guess it is what it is, yeah? And it's just is what it is. 
Because when you look at me, babe, I need you to know that I look really good without makeup and really good with it. Period. Like, you know I'm serving up both, okay? This wine is strong as hell because I'm already tipsy and I have not even drank half the glass. It is 14.8% alcohol, which I did intentionally because I do want this boy to get drunk and confess his love for me, but how was he gonna confess his love if I can't even keep it together? How many abortions have you had? More than one, okay? More than one? And that's how you need to narrow. Honestly, I, I honestly recommend abortions for people. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you are young, I do not recommend you have a child. Real talk. Like, I don't even care if you're like 24. You're too young to have a kid, trust me. Cause I'm 29 and I'm like, wow, my life would have sucked with a kid, honestly. And like how people be like sad and regretting their abortions like i literally look at them and i'd be like why like i don't understand this sadness like you don't feel grateful that like your life wasn't trash hella early like i don't get it but i mean everybody process is different i don't know i'm very thankful for everything i've had to do and honestly i'm thankful for my mom because my mom pushed me to get my first one and I was like, you are evil. I'm, I'm 17 years old, I'm having this child. My mom was like, no, you're not. And this is exactly what's happening. And I was just like, all right. And I'm so thankful because my life will be completely different, completely trash. Like, uh, -uh. I probably have hella kids. I'd probably be living in the Bay. I'd still be on EBT. I'd definitely be on section eight by now. I. I don't know what I would have done. Probably hair or something. I don't know what I would have done. <coughs> Damn, I hope I ain't got COVID. Whatever. I'm a G. I'll take it out. Somebody said, what's wrong with EBT? I didn't say anything is wrong with EBT. I miss EBT. I said I'd probably still be on EBT. God dang. Like, sometimes I feel like you guys really have a hearing problem. What's wrong with EBT? Nothing. Do you think I like paying for groceries? I don't. Like, what are you talking about? What the hell? I miss it. I miss EBT. Like, what the hell? be so for real everybody want to be offended so bad so bad i am a literal welfare baby literal section a welfare baby y'all talking about what's wrong with it the only thing that's wrong with it is that i can't get it anymore that's what i don't like about it it's not fair